Hey guys, welcome back to Seldom Tutorials. My name is Ahmad, and today I want to show you how we configure port forwarding on Cisco Miraki. So, right now I have a Cisco Miraki network. Uh, I have already logged in to my account on Cisco Miraki. Um, here we can show the network topology that we have. This is my headquarter router or firewall. It is MX80. Then we have connection to MS220, 48 ports, and this switch will be distributing to the other access points and some distribution layer switches right so when you do the port forwarding it should be done on the router it should be done on the edge <coughs> of your network so as you see on the left we have the security appliance which will be the router as well we have the switch <coughs> sorry we have the wireless all of those sections is going to be managing the network components that you have in your topology so once I'm interested in port forwarding, you know, I will go to security appliance and I will go to firewall. All right, in the firewall, as you see, we have the firewall section and we have the layer seven sections. So those two sections is only controlling who, who's allowed and who's denied, right? So this is applied on the outbound rules. If you want to stop specific port or stop specific IP, you will have to insert the rules uh, on the outbound rules and so on. But right here we are not interested in configuring the firewall rules. We just interested in the port forwarding rules. So I scroll down. And in this panel, as you see, I have many several rules, right? Um, so far, I have a VPN server that's working inside, and that PC is an internal PC. We can consider it. Um, we can consider the location is here. I have a local PC uh, in this section after this access point behind here in this this point. Right, so I want to reach it from the internet. So all what I need is just configuring the port forwarding. So I go to port forwarding rules, scroll down. I can create a new one. Let's say test. Right. Um, in this test, I would like to see the HTTP port. Let's say uh, HTTP port is not used. Right, this is the outside port that you will be inserted, that you're gonna insert with the public IP of the customer or the public IP of the router. Right? And this is the inside IP that you will reach. And here it is it is the inside service that you are interested in. So what does that mean? In the last section, you specify who will access this rule. As you see, who's allowed to access that server from the outside. If you want a specific IPs, you can put right here. Let's say 111 slash 24. It's up to you. But if you want to allow it for the all or for all public, you just type in it. And I'm gonna type in right so what does that mean that mean if I go to the public IP of my appliance in using public IP of appliance and using port 80 right it will be directed to that port sorry it will be directed to that IP with the internal port 80 make sense so this number 
is this number. And this number right here huh, is the number right here. Somebody may ask, may ask and say, is it mandatory to be identical? The, question, the answer is no. Sometimes you are <clears throat> using that port. Let's say that you are already using port 80 for another service or another server that's already working and running. So you cannot use the same port from the outside and be duplicated with other, with other port outside. So in this case, you can change this, the outside port, and you can use uh, the same port inside. So if you have any duplication in the outside port or the public IP port that is going to be inserted right here, you can change it. If you change it to like that, or what you want to change is this. So once you open this, you're going to match this rule, this rule, and once you match this rule, you will be redirected to that IP address. So for now, let's uh, let's do a test, right? In this server, I'm gonna open up Apache. Um, once I open up the Apache, I wanna verify that I can reach the Apache service of that server from the outside. So I'm gonna save. All right. Once I save, uh, I need to go to that server. 192.168.120.254 and check if Apache is working. First of all, I want to make sure that this server has internet connectivity. This is so important, as you see, the server has an internet connectivity. Number two, I want to make sure that there is no firewall on the server side that's blocking anything. So I check IP tables, as you see, the IP tables is off. Also, we can check CLinux, it's also disabled. Now, let's start the HTTP Apache, HTTPD, uh, see, not installed, I'm gonna install. All right, HTTPD is working and running. So let's verify more step. Next state. As we see, we have the port 80 is opening in a listening state. So now I will go to the public IV. Public IV to server is 8, 9, one seven four three two three seven one six five right so it should if I put here uh-huh it's giving me the Apache service of the server so if I go to the server as well tlf var uh, log hdvd Access it will give me that somebody is already hit uh, the logs of HTTP. It will say Abel get uh, let's do some more changes like here. Uh -huh. As you see, the port forwarding is working and fine. So, this is a nutshell. We have just tried Cisco Meraki MX. 80 model and that in a nutshell so I'm gonna remove since it was for testing and save uh, and then uh, I hope this video has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing if you liked my video you can go to my youtube channel like 
subscribe and give me a good comment. Thank you so much. See you next video.